Hello. The video I was originally going to make this week just didn't really work out. I don't know, I, I just wasn't really happy with it, so I'm just going to throw this together instead. And uh, what this is that I have here is Epix Toolkit Basic. It's one of the many third-party basics for the Commodore 64, and it's my favorite. I found out about it through a channel called Basic Bytes. Uh, go check it out. He's made a couple of interesting videos covering some various aspects of it, including some interesting Easter eggs. Today's little video, I'm going to be doing some neat little graphics stuff in Epic's Toolkit Basic. Since graphics commands are the main reason why people use third-party basics, because the built-in basic on the Commodore 64 lacked any sort of graphics or sound commands. So anyway, let's get into it. So first I'm going to write a little program, and I'm just going to draw a little circle on the screen. So I'm going to go 10, and we're going to do this in high-res mode. 10, and you just type high-res. And there we go, 20, let's go color blue. And it's really cool, you can just type color and then the actual name of the color instead of just a number. You can still type a number, so I can go like color six for blue, but I'm just gonna do color blue, 30, circle 160, comma 100, which will put it in the middle of the screen. And we have to type X, Y, size and let's do like 50 by 50 now let's run it yay there's our circle to get back to text mode we can just type text and there we go so I added a few other little things to it and let me show you what it does So anyway, I think that's just kind of cool. Okay, so here's another little program. It just draws a bunch of diagonal lines on the screen. It looks really cool. It creates almost like a fan pattern. It just sort of fans out. Anyway, I just think it looks pretty cool, especially with the green. And there's the code. So you know, 4x equals 0 to 320. Then line x comma 200 which is the top and then to 320 minus x comma zero so let's adapt this for multicolor okay so now i've adapted it for multicolor so now it goes 10 multi and then cool and clear which clears the screen and then 4x equals 0 to 320 step 20 and 35 color green and then the same, you know, x comma 200 to 320 minus x comma zero. And then color blue, x plus 10 comma 200, and then 320 minus x plus 10 comma zero. So even though the loop increments by 20 this time, it's still gonna draw a line every 10 pixels. It's just gonna draw two lines per iteration of the loop. It's gonna alternate between blue and green. And there it is. Obviously the resolution is a bit lower because it's multicolor mode and that's sort of the trade-off. As for some other color related commands, we can change the background by just typing background. That's pretty self-explanatory. We could change the border just by typing border and then the color. And you can turn on a single pixel on the screen by using the dot command, followed by X and Y. And here's a little program that's just going to turn a bunch of random pixels white. And it's kind of like a starry night sort of pattern. And you can also have multiple pixels in the same dot command line, so it's going to, first dot's going to be a 10, 10, and we separate with a comma, then we go semicolon, and then another pixel, 20, 20, semicolon, 20, 30, 30, 30, and 
semicolon 100 100 and there you go hopefully you can see that and they're all like squares and rectangles and stuff we can use the box command so you know this is the top left hand corner of the box coordinate so we're gonna do 100 comma 100 and then XY size 50 uh, wide 20 tall it's kind of like the circle run that and there we go and here's another little program that draws a bunch of random boxes on the screen it's kind of like modern art It also kind of looks like a very disorganized plaid once it sort of fills in a bit more and gets a bit more crowded. Kind of reminds me of that 3D pipe screensaver from uh, Windows 95 and 98 and whatnot. So something kind of annoying is I have this program and it runs in high res mode. And I wrote it just after uh, my modern art program. And if we go to run it, a bunch of the colors are still there from my multicolor uh, random boxes program. That, that's really annoying, and there's no way to get rid of it. Like typing the clear command won't help. There's just all these random colors from when it was running in multicolor mode. You can sort of see my high res program on top of it. Now that's just really, really frustrating. Anyway, that's just about it for today's video. Obviously, there's a lot more to Epix Toolkit Basic, or Epix Basic Toolkit, whatever you want to call it, that I hope to cover in a later video. That might even be my next video. We'll see. But this is just something I kind of wanted to talk about. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe consider subscribing. Click that red, but now gray for a lot of users because they got rid of the red subscribe button and I'm not very happy about it. Like, why YouTube? The red was so iconic and now it's just this depressing gray button. Oh well, anyway, we're almost at 800 subscribers, which is pretty cool. And my goal is to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. So hopefully we can still get there. And uh, yeah, shout out to Basic Bytes for making me aware of Epic's Toolkit Basic. I'd also like to mention that I have a Discord server now. You can check that out if you want. And anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.